You got it? Boom. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So today, making a video, um, we're going to be doing... I can't do that if you do that. We're going to be painting the calipers blue on Mike's here for Lost Turbo. For those of you who don't know, because he's never been on this channel yet. This is Mike, and he is the owner of this beautiful Lost Turbo. Um, so yeah, we're painting the brake caliper blue today since we're going to be going to Fix Fest. And on the outside, this thing looks pretty OEM with the exception of we the wheels. Hold on. We had the wheels black plasti dipped uh, recently, so it was looking OEM. So we're trying to make the exterior look a little more modified. Um, probably going to be also doing a little bit of a how-to video, I guess, on how to paint your brake calipers for those of you who don't know how to do it. Because it's pretty easy. So step one, get yourself an impact gun and an air compressor because nobody fucks with lug wrenches. Lug nut wrenches. So yeah, step one, take lug nuts off. Mike, lug nuts? Yes, sir. All right, so I have your frog tape. That's what it'd be. your frog tape. All right, so now, since I don't like doing prep work, couldn't go and take the wheels. I hate prep work. That's why. You... All right, so I just we... realized the lens might have been dirty, <laughs> and I can't go back and do whatever I did. So it's too bad. Anyways, so step two: got the wheels off both sides. It's jacked up. Jacks underneath it. Um, Separated over here so we know which one's the front and the back. We're gonna go ahead and Mike is gonna go ahead and tape up the rotor and anywhere else to not get paint on besides the caliper. And cue time lapse. Alright, so now we got the wheel all taped off with the Mike, you didn't tape the lug nuts off though. Or the little piece right in here. All right, so we'll tape those off real fast and then we're gonna start spraying. All right, got it taped off, so shake up the can of paint nice and well. Mike's taping off the back wheel there. Maybe we can get both done at a time because for some reason it's been sunny all day here, but now it decides it's gonna rain, so. Welcome to South Florida. Yeah, welcome to South Florida. In case you don't live here, it's shitty. You don't move here. So let's shake this up. This should be about done and we'll go ahead and apply the first coat on it and be right back all right first coat's done let her dry up a little bit this isn't perfect in any way i'm not a professional painter because you can see there's a little oh look a little drip some runs but whatever it's brake calipers so i might get in the back one still all right so we got two coats on this one back one is taped off now so i'm gonna throw a coat on this Start that going. Hopefully we can beat the uh, weather, and that way hopefully get an oil change done on this car today too. All right, so front's done, um, rear's done as well now. So just gonna apply wait a good 10 minutes and be touch dry. Peel the tape off them, put the wheels back on, and then we'll get the other side going and start it up. Um, so yeah, just a little background on this car. Uh, this is probably one of the more modded cars out of the group of friends that I have. Um, stage one plus torque tune, stage, yeah, stage one plus torque tune, engine cold air intake from my intercooler for blow off valve, uh, Genesis coupe, brake calipers, uh, rear sway bar, front engine strut bar, uh, catch can, and now we're doing cosmetic stuff because it didn't have anything cosmetic before, it was all OEM outside. So, doing some cosmetic work before, um, before fix fest, so that way Mike doesn't look OEM there in stock. We'll get these tires back on, we'll get the other side going, and um, hopefully get this done soon and then do an oil change. All right, everything's bolting on this side. Looks pretty good, actually. The bass kind of clean. Oh, what'd you do, Mike? What'd you do? To dip. Yeah. Hmm. It can be redone. Not redone, but like touched up is fine. 
So we're just getting this side done, taking off. Almost, 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 there we go. All right, so finishing up the blocker now. Got, uh, got this side all done. Putting the wheel on this one, and then we'll get that wheel done. And we're still doing oil change. Mike, we're still doing oil change? Yeah. So still doing oil change. I don't think you can with my compressor going, but um, once we get a few wheels on, then we'll jack the car up and get that going. It's probably dark when we get the oil change going, but whatever, shit happens. I have lights, so it'll still get done. But yeah, I realize... I realize this isn't really much of a how-to video. Like I said, it was going to be at first. It's more of a... We painted the Veloster Turbo's brakes blue, and I vlogged the video. So... That's what it's gonna be. I mean, it's kind of like a how-to. You can tell what we did to the video. If you, can, if you really can't, then I don't tell you. We do gotta do some touch-up. Yeah, they make something that can like smooth it out and use like a little Q-tip and you can respray it. But we'll do that um, eventually. So yeah, get this finished up real fast, get the car jacked up, get the oil change started. And we'll be right back. So I realize it's going to be getting too dark here in a minute. I'm running out of time to uh, finish showing you guys the oil change. Even though I guess we're almost done. Well, we got the oil drained out. Um, he's getting the oil filter off now. But I'm going to end this video here before it gets too dark. Subscribe. Like this video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. And link in the uh, description below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.